This will be a very brief treatment, or I consider it enhancement of Jake Steiner's efforts. Uh, Jake talks about his method of measurement, which is if you're at a minus two, there's a minus two Doppler lens, for instance. Uh, you can try and read at 20 inches where it just blurs. That's minus two Doppler's. It's a very basic, simple method of determining your refractive state. You probably won't be able to read the 2100 line. What I advocate is for those with mild myopia, which I will call minus one, there's a minus one Doppler lens, that you put up a bright Snellen. And the purpose of this is twofold. Find out if you read the 2060 line. It doesn't have to be clear, but you and your mind, own mind must make out the letters. Without that, you're not in measurement control. And measurement control, I mean, you do the judgments. You make the measurements. Now, unlike Jake, I, don't, I can't make claims of success because success is passing the DMV 2040 line. So if you're starting at self-confirmed 2060 and get to 2040, that is a profound success. This is because optometrists don't make snow and measurements. They immediately start putting up a minus two and say, is that sharper? And so you wind up with a minus two Doppler lens when you're probably at 2040. Is this dispute that is a scientific dispute? Now, I realize they're in a hurry. Uh, Jay calls it seat time. Seat time means they talk to you like you're totally ignorant, incapable, have no interest, and will not take any advice from them. The result it come, becomes a matter of distrust. As Jake said, he tried to talk to them, and they put him down, ignored him, and insulted him. That is not how you do science. You can provide me with the facts when I'm 2040. Provide me with a plus two. That's not it. And by golly, I will get myself out of it from 2040 but he cannot claim you can get out of much more than 2060. So what is involved? Science. Your knowledge of science. You be treated as an equal. You being assumed to be intelligent and able to understand some basic facts that must be understood if you are going to be successful. To me, those facts have been long published and they will never be told this in an OD's office. I posted a statement about Nick and his children. Nick made his children slightly nearsighted by the nose and the page habit. But rather than getting his kids to wear a plus lens, which would work, he put them in strong minus lens and shrugs his shoulders saying, I don't know what else to do. To me, that is the entire field of optometry. They do not know what else to do. Unfortunately, I want to know that. I better know what else to do when I'm at 2040, or I will lose my vision permanently to one, my bad habits, and two, the minus lens. So we've proposed prevention studies at the Naval Academy, among other places. In that case, each student who's a scientist would make his own measurements consisting of his own Snellen and basically four years of wearing a plus lens. Does that frighten you off? Does that scare you? To me, that's the only right way. But whatever would happen, the young man would be in total control of his distant vision by wearing a plus or doing close work. There's a lot of science to support that. And if you throw up your hands and say, I'm never ever going to wear a plus lens when I'm 2050, I feel sorry for you because there is no other way. Maybe this complements what Jake says, maybe it contradicts him, I don't know. 
I will post Jake's video. He's very persuasive and more power to The area which is not covered is something called the bifocal. Now, ODs love to, optometrists love to prescribe something in office because they get paid money for it. But you cannot prescribe the plus the way I use it because it's free, it doesn't cost anything. And so they're saying, well, the person's too ignorant to understand prevention at 2040. That is where you must understand it. Now, back to the original subject. Uh, I realized I must pass the 2040 line. So you see me doing this. Then I realized I must do better. Then this is why you see me putting a plus lens on, pushing the work away till it just blurs and using plus lens. That only works when you're about 2050. Uh, it should be very clear that my sister's children when they were in high school, were persuaded to use the plus. They used it all through junior high school, high school, college, graduate school. And whenever they got down to 2040, they built a fire under themselves, restarted the plus lens, and got back to the vicinity of 2020. This is the difference between intelligent, wise self-control and being put in a strong minus lens, which takes your vision down permanently. So if you're going to use the Jake's approach, which I highly approve of, but you're one of the lucky ones who are close to reading the 2050 line, then you get yourself a minus a half. I don't have these in proper order. Minus a half and a minus two. And sorry. Now, Let's just say, assume you've checked your reading the 2050. You've used the minimum minus, let's say minus a half, and it gets the 2025 to 2020 line clear. That will be your prescription. And you can order them direct from uh, Zinni Optical and avoid fighting with optometrists. This is not medicine because you're measuring your refractive state of the normal eye and for a number of reasons, it's not medical and no person who's medical and optometrist will ever help you with this. So it's gonna be all you or nothing. Uh, I wish I had been able to do this when I was young, but I was never offered a choice and there was no choice, chance. The first minus killed my vision permanently as far as I'm concerned. Equally, I hold myself responsibility, responsible for my own personal bad habits. These consist of nose on the page for hours, days, months, and years, and eventually it catches up with you. No optometrist feels that you have the intelligence to understand prevention when you're 2040. And I guess I take the brave point of view that you do have the intelligence and potentially the motivation, but it's gotta be before you get below 2050. I see the eye as a very sophisticated design, always controlling its refractive state to the average of what you look at. And you, my friend, are the only person who controls your refractive state and your long-term vision. It puts all the responsibility on you. I just cannot claim success beyond about 2050. If you want to qualify as a pilot when you're in high school in our 2050, this is where you must commit to the 20, to the plus lens. Nobody has any perfect answers. The optometrists believe totally that nobody gets out of 2040. And I believe you have the, perhaps the intelligence and motivation to make the long-term commitment to wearing the plus, monitoring your Snellen, using your own test lens. And much as Jake said, Snelling clearing is about a half doctor per year. To me, it's worth it. Doesn't involve any money. You don't pay me any money. I don't collect any money. I just don't care about money. It's all up to you. And like just Jake said, it's free. Thank you.